Hey Minders, welcome to the Mind of Watercolor. I'm going to try a new format out on you today. I think I'm going to call it Mind Shots or something like that. It's just going to be real short little vlogs. They may be interesting things that I found or want to show you. Just a quick snapshot. I kind of thought about doing it in Periscope, but then I thought, oh, not enough people will see it, and maybe I'll try Periscope later. I signed up for that a while ago and still haven't used it. Uh, a lot of you have supported me on Patreon, and that's enabled me to do more regular episodes. I'm, I've gone from being able to do a couple a month, maybe one to two a month, to now I'm doing uh, three, and most months I'm doing four. Um, so that's been a great uh, result of your support so thank you for sponsoring most of those videos um, this is a new way where i can add some more content that i think would just be fun now i got an email from cheap joe's art supply and it was maybe a lot of you got the same one and it's the one that said here's the watercolor mystery box if you place a 75 dollars order so i just couldn't resist right um that ends today by the way and i'm sorry i didn't do this sooner but i just got the order today um so anyway i placed a minimal order we'll look at that first and then i haven't looked at it at all we're going to look at the mystery box the watercolor mystery box and see what's in it open my order and i just i ordered a sable brush oh no that's right Sorry, I ordered this from Amazon. Well, forget that. So everything from Cheap Joe's should be in here. So let us see what we have. Oh yeah, right. This is the, um, and I'll probably do a, I bought this because I wanted to do a review on it. it. Just looked intriguing. This is the Joe's painter kit. It's sort of a plain air kit. It's totally not necessary. I mean, I love the plain air kit that I have, but I just kind of like this little compact thingy that they put together. Uh, I ordered this. This is not part of the mystery box. Um, and I won't get into it in detail here. Um, it's, it's actually leather. It has a little strap and uh, has a little... Uh, plain air palette, place to put brushes, and a water flask, and a water cup, a couple water cups. And they sent it with uh, a little block of their Kilimanjaro paper, a little postcard size paper. So hopefully I'll do a more of a review on that. Ah, uh, and the uh, Skoda brush. A Skoda Reserva Kalinsky Sable. Probably my most used size, a number eight round. For you beginners out there, number eight round. Use it a lot. Now, it doesn't put in big washes, but um, I have so many mock kind of sables, synthetic sables, and I have a couple sables. Uh, well, I have more than a couple, but I have some sables. I never really found them to perform any better, you know, against synthetics, at least the new types of synthetics, where they mimic Sable. I just thought, well, I'm going to start buying and comparing a few others and see how they do. This is an Escoda. I want to get a Rosemary and a couple others. This is the Cheap Joe's. Can you see that? I'll throw the box over there. Cheap Joe's art stuff. Ooh, sticker! mystery bag and i have not looked at this at all got a catalog some paper what have we in here that's kind of a cool bag too it's a little bag with dual drawstrings so i guess you can use it like a backpack uh keep going out of frame sorry i guess you can use that as a backpack is short of thing that's make a nice little oh cool you know, I got my 75, my 75,000 subscriber anniversary coming up. I was planning on doing something special. So I may give away some of this stuff because I already see a core 
tube in here that I have. Well, let's just stop wondering and let's look. <clears throat> Pallet, nice little, uh, nice little watercolor palette here. Schminka, a uh, schmink, oh, cool. I have some schminka, but I don't have this color. This is, what color is this? This is cadmium orange, Holbein. Holbein Artist Quinacridone Gold. Looks like it's probably about five milliliter. I may just go ahead and, I don't really use Holbein. Nothing wrong with them, I think they're great, but I think I'll probably give away all this stuff. Ah, spatter screen. Cool, a square one. I have a round one. I'll probably give this away. You paint your watercolor on the spatter screen, then you, you blow it. Or you can use a straw for pinpoint spatter. Cool. What else we got? I don't know, it just looks like printed material mostly. Fabriano paper value pack. Fabriano Artistico, that's their high grade artist grade paper. Nice, I have some of that. Probably give that away. What's this little Windsor Newton thingy? Oh yeah, it's a dot sample card. Um, they put little dabs of paint on here. Uh, and it's rewettable. It's like a little mound of dried paint and you can sample their their color. This is the professional grade artist color. This is a Holbein dot sheet. So you can test any or all of the Holbein colors. And there's a bunch here. I, I'm nearing two million, well no, I'm sorry, I'm new, nearing three million views and in just a few couple of weeks, three weeks, I don't know how long it'll take. I'll probably be at 75,000 subscribers. So I wanted to do a giveaway and thank everybody. And this will probably be what I give away. Now we got a pencil in here. What is that? That is the Cheap Joe's Artist Sketch Pencil. Anyway, thought you might, guys might like to see that. We'll see you on the next Mind Shot.